good, YouTube. This is your home, but the raging Yoshi. Yeah. And I'm here with my next episode. Let's play Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. Um, real quick, couple things I need to point out. Give me one second, and never mind. I can't find what they are. So whatever. Uh, so we are now. We got finished with uh, Mount Moon. And welcome to Cerulean City. That's right. We have found Cerulean City. Here, home. This place is home of the Cerulean Gym. Um, yeah, Cerulean Gym is a water type gym, so having your Pikachu is actually perfect for this. Pikachu is can basically just tank through everything here. Sorry, I'm not talking as much as I normally do. I'm actually trying to look something up about this as we speak. Uh, da 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 dum 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 dum. Oh, whatever. I'll remember it. Um. Okay. So now that we're here in Cerulean City. Blah blah blah. Now what we could do is we could jump straight in and take on the Cerulean Gym if we wanted to. But I actually prefer not to. The Cerulean Gym is not going to be. It's not actually all that tough to fight the Cerulean Gym. But it's something I want to do beforehand. So, but before I even do that, however, why is he walking into the wall? We're going to go up here and go into the Pokemon and buy stuff. Uh, blah blah. We're going to buy four potions for now. That sounds good. And repels. These things are. Oh my goodness, they're so useful at this point in the game. But that's beside the point. We're actually about to get my third final my third finalized member of my team. Um they're coming up quite shortly. But actually hmm, I'm actually going to save right here. Because I, something I just remembered happens right here in like two seconds, literally. So, are you all ready for this? It's a rival battle! Yo, Raging Y, you're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Raging Y. All right, y'all know what times it is. This is battle number two against Gary. All right, no, I know last time I had the little box come up that showed his Pokemon. I realized that that box is that box looked very bad, in my opinion. So I'm actually, I actually stopped doing that. So I'm just going to fight his Pokemon. First up, he has this. Spiro, the Spiro is extremely annoying and wow, it knows Fury Attack. Great. Oh, here we go. Rival battle. So I can give a. M ah, damn it. All right, it hit three times. Fury Attack is a really annoying attack, I have to say. But it's whatever. It's Spiro. We're just gonna Thunder Shock it to death. It's super effective. Yeah. So we killed his Spearow quite easily, of course. My Voltron's gonna get to level 20 soon. Sandshrew. So since he's gonna be setting out Sandshrew, I it's a pretty good idea for me to switch to my Mackey. I don't know why I think that. I just have this feeling that my Mackey will be better suited than my Pikachu against the Sandshrew. Oh right. Oh here we go. Here's what I was trying to find online. Low kick. And, okay, rival battle at Cerulean City. Our rival has four Pokemon at this point. He has a level 18 Spearow, which knows the moves Peck, Growl, Leer, and Fury Attack. 
He has a level 15 Sandshore, which we are currently fighting, which only knows Scratch and Sand Attack, so it's not too dangerous. He has a level 15 Rattata, which knows the moves Tackle, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang actually can become a really dangerous move, especially at this point in the game. Later in the game, it's not a big problem, but as of right now, Hyper Fang can really hurt you. And he has a level 17 Eevee, which knows Tackle, Tail Whip, and Sand Attack. In all honesty, his Eevee is probably the l least menacing of his Pokemon. In my personal opinion, the worst one to deal with at this point is the Spiro, but we've already dealt with it, so yeah. So we're just gonna take this Rattata out. Uh, yeah, this really isn't too bad of a battle. Um, if you're looking for what he has in like the first gen, I mean in the originals of this game, he'll have a Charmander Pidgey. He'll have whatever starter, a Pidgeotto, a Rattata, and an Abra. I believe just the starter Pokemon changes. And it, it looks like I'm correct about this. Yeah. And the Abra actually is the least dangerous Pokemon on his team at this point in the game. Although, later in the game, that flip-flops and it becomes probably the most dangerous Pokemon on his team. But as of right now, the Abra is not dangerous at all. I'm not even paying it. I'm not even looking at my TV screen and just battling him. All right, that Eevee should be going down quite quickly. Da 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 da. da. Ugh, sand attack. That attack is so annoying. Oh my goodness, that attack is annoying. But it's whatever. Like I said, the Eevee isn't a problem at all to deal with. Because it only has one attack that does damage to you. Like, the sand attack could get annoying. I will admit that, but... Hmm. My information seems to be incorrect. He has growl, but my information says tail whip. Damn you, game! Internet! Whatever. You know what I mean. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. Whoa! Um... Voltron, quick attack. No, Voltron! Okay, good. I can switch him out. I don't feel I have my Pokemon die on me. So, Pimp Hand. Please. Do me the favor of beating the crap out of this Eevee. It's a low kick. Yes, normal types. Fighting is your kryptonite. Gotta love that. Alright. Oh, Voltron hit level 20. Awesome. Voltron is trying to learn Slam. Ooh, nice. But you can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move, older move to make room for a Slam. Yes. Which one should be forgotten? I like having Thunder Shock and Quick Attack. I don't use Thunder Wave at all, really. I've used it probably twice since I've gotten it. So even though I know a lot of people would say hold on to the Thunder Wave, I'm getting rid of that. All right, we've defeated Gary. Hey, take it easy. Uh, you won already, and we get money. We get money. All right. Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bills world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on the PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Alright. Um, I will be right back. I'm going to run to the Pokemon Center and heal up my Pokemon because we do have something a little challenging coming up. So I'll be right back. Alright, real quick. Just want to show this off. Grass and caves handle easily. Bike shop. So let's step into here. This is the bike shop. Cool. A shiny new bicycle. So let's talk to the manager here. Hiya, welcome to our bike shop. Have we we have we got just a bike for you? One million polka dollars. Sorry, you can't afford it. Come back sometime. Yeah, right now you can't get a bike because it costs too much. But don't worry, we'll be handling that in just a little while. So now that my Pokemon have been healed up nicely at the Pokemon Center, we're going to go up this route right here. 
Oh snap, color change! Oh snap, Pokemon League music! Aww. Pokemon League music? Yeah, alright. So, we're at the Battle Bridge. This is the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Yes, I do. So now, we're going to take down the five trainers of the Nugget Bridge, starting up with Bug Catcher. And I have not taken my Pikachu out of the front of my party for some reason because I'm an idiot, so I have to change that. Uh, but you know what? Let me just show off Slam. Best graphics ever. Oh my god, these graphics are so amazing. Wow, Pokemon really- Pokemon Yellow was amazing. Uh, I'm sorry, this is an amazing game, but these graphics are so bad. That's whatever. Voltron gained some more experience, and now he's about to use a Weedle. Uh, yeah, we're gonna change to Pimpan, since Pimpan needs to equal level with Voltron. So, Pimpan! <laughs> wow, Pimpan! Pimpan! Just gonna beat the crap of this Weedle. But yeah, this is just a battle bridge. You fight a total of five trainers. I, if I remember correctly, I hope I remember correctly, each trainer has a different set of move of a Pokemon. I'm hope I know for a fact it's not like five bug catchers or nothing like that. But I think you get like a bug catcher, a last, a, you might get two lasts and two youngsters. But don't quote me on that. All right, we defeated Bug Catcher Rick. Yes, everyone's name is Rick now. I don't care. You can be a girl, your name is Rick. They didn't give you names, so I'm giving you names. Your name is Rick. Oh, snap. I'm second, now it's serious. Last Rick wants to fight. Last Rick sent out Pidgey. Yes, I'm serious, I'm naming- Oh. Uh, bad type it matchup. Um, yeah, flying types are very strong against fighting types. So, yeah, this is actually is a very bad matchup. That's why I didn't use low kick. Ooh, critical hit. Good timing. Like, that Pidgey no, knew or knows Gust. It might, it might know Gust and it's just not using it, but if it knew Gust, it'd be very dangerous for me to be fighting it. Because that Gust really just messed my Mankey up. But Mankey grew to level 18. Yeah. Last is about to use Nidoran female. What will we do? We're keeping Mankey in, bruh. My Mankey gonna hit level 20. Yeah, yeah. Like, my Mankey probably. My Mankey is most definitely gonna be at level 20 before the end of this bridge. Alright, Karate Chop! Oh, it's dead. Critical hits are critical. And they hit. Maybe that's how they got the name. How could I lose? Raging Y got 210 for winning. Alright. Grab me a potion. And use it on Pimp Hand. Give him a little bit more health. So that's 2 out of, th two out of 5 down. I believe this is a youngster. Ooh, number three, not gonna be easy. Yes, I know this is getting repetitive, isn't it? But it's okay. You can, as you see, I'm taking these guys out relatively quickly. You can tank through with one or two strong Pokemon here. Although, as a little kid, I couldn't even get. I had a hard time getting past Gary. But that's because I ran from tr ran from random Pokemon encounters. Now I've learned better. I fight every random Pokemon encounter I hit unless I like die and I'm just trying to get back to where I was. That's the only time I don't fight every random Pokemon encounter. But actually you might have seen me buy the repels. That's actually for the recording because it actually makes it hard to talk when you keep encountering Pokemon. Oh no, rap. Rap is really gay. You, you can't attack for your following turn after Rap hits you. So if your opponent has a Pokemon that's faster than yours and they continuously use Rap, they hit you with an endless combo that basically you're screwed. It really sucks. It's an effective strategy, but it really sucks. 
So just hit it with the karate chop one more again. Oh, Super Sonic missed. That was a good move to miss. Super Sonic causes confusion, which is another status ailment that your Pokemon can get. Confusion really sucks. Because your opponent, your Pokemon, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but they have a chance at hitting themselves for, I believe it's a normal type attack with 40 power. That's what I've been told. It really sucks. And it hurts really badly. But I digress. But some attacks in later generations actually increase your Pokemon's attack power and confuses them, which really sucks. But I digress because we have a Pidgey to kill. By the way, if you are wondering why Pidgeys, why uh, flying types are super effective against fighting types, I just have a question for you. Have you ever tried to punch a bird? I need to know this. If you've tried it, then you know how difficult it is. Also, if you've tried it, something is severely wrong with you. Like, I mean severely, like, oh my goodness, why would you punch a bird? What did the birdie do to you? But I digress. Alright, Pimpan is going to do a karate chop. Uh, yeah. I think Nidoran, the Nidoran female and Nidoran male are um, normal types in this game. Like, I want to say that they're normal types, but I don't know for sure. I, I acknowledge the fact that I could be incorrect in saying that. That's what it, ooh, Pim Pam grew to level 19. Da, 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 Last Rick. I lost two. That's right, everyone's name is still Rick. Don't think I forgot. Oh, snap. Battle number five. I'm number five. I'll stop you. I'm guessing this is a youngster. Oh, no. We have Junior Trainer Male who wants to fight. And he only has one Pokemon. Oh, snap. It's a Mankey Slap fight. Yeah, this Mankey is actually a really good level. So, if you're not ready for this, this can be a difficult Pokemon to take down. Unless you're, unless you're like, my, your Mankey is like my Mankey and gets criticals out the ass. Oh, wow. Um, do that one more time. Thank you. Double critical his ass. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so stupid. But you know what? I love being me. If I wasn't stupid, I don't think I'd have the friends that I have today. Alright, use two potions on Pip Hand. Alright. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Raging Y received the nugget. Awesome. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of dedicated we're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us! I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> hey, we have another rocket. And he wants to fight, obviously. He's he sends out Snake, I mean es Ekans. Ekans, Snake spelled backwards. It's a ball form cobra. Spelled backwards, which is Abak. Abak. Zazaza. Zaza Zaza Zaza. Rap. Fruit to the turf. Luckily, my man. I've noticed I do like to use some pretty quick Pokemon. Alright. Um. Looks like my Pimpan will be just short of level 20. Uh, yeah, Pimpan. Finish off the Zubat. 
with the karate chop. Ah! <laughs> Why do I make such stupid noises? Critical. Oh my god, the critical hits. Raging wide defeated Rocket. Arg, you're good. Arg. Raging wide got 450 for winning. With your abilities, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Well, you know what? I don't want to be a top leader in Team Rocket. But what I do want is to, one, grab this item. We found TM45. Awesome. Now, to in Pokemon Yellow, this is the only game where this is available. If you talk to this trainer right here... Hi, I'm no good at raising Pokemon. I should release my Charmander. Because I haven't raised it well. If you promise me you'll care for it, it's yours. Yeah. And just like that, we get a freaking Charmander. So you know, I'm going to nickname my Charmander. And I hope my good friend Brian does not mind me stealing the name he uses. But I'm going to nickname my Charmander... Spitfire. I hope I spelled that right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're a few minutes in. Uh, this is a little. There's a little tall grass area over here. I believe you can run into Poliwags. Um, Oddish, of course. Bell Sprouts, and I forget what else. But there's quite a few things you can run into in here. Well, I kind of don't want to fight the Oddish, so. I'm actually going to cut now until I run into the Pokemon that I'm looking for, so I'll be right back. Alright, my heart just got broken. The um Pokemon I had wanted for my team, I can't get in this game because it's not there in this game. Uh, I wanted to catch an Abra, but unfortunately I couldn't. Okay, Electrode, you Sonic Boom. Please, Electrode, pay attention. Alright, who cares about you, ho? I'm kidding, she's not a ho. You're a trainer, too. Cool. Collect collecting, fighting is tough life. Alright, I'm actually looking for a certain person here in Cerulean City. Because... Hold on, wait for it. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon. That sounds amusing. Let's go into this house. Oh, here we go. Let's talk to this girl right here. I take care of injured Pokemon. Our nurse is Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. I know. Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Yeah. And just like that, we get a Bulbasaur. So now we have two more of my permanent party members. Uh. Yes, I will nickname my Bulbasaur. But what to name it? Hmm. What to name you, Bulbasaur? Um, I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Like this is actually quite a conundrum for me. I don't know what to name my Bulbasaur. Tree, no. Um, Okay, this is probably going to be really lame, but I can't think of anything. Razor Whip. I'm spelling whip wrong. Razor Whip. Yeah, it's a, com it's a combination of Razor Leaf and Vine Whip. Razor Whip! Alright, so now we have four of my permanent party members. Uh, I have one more that I know is going to be in. You could probably guess what it is by now if you pay, if you have any idea about the first generation of Pokemon. But yeah, I actually have another party member who I'm contem who I don't know what I want it to be. Um, I'm just gonna log onto someone's PC real quick because here you can put your Pokemon into boxes and stuff. I'm just gonna throw useless in here because. Like his name suggests, he's kind of useless to me. But yeah. Um. Alright. So that's. I'm going to end this episode off right here. 
This has been your homeboy, the Raging Yoshi, signing off for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and a like. If you enjoy what you've seen and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Um, off camera, I'm probably going to work on leveling up Razor Whip and Spitfire. Um, there's actually a lot of trainers down this path. I don't know if I'm going to fight them. I'm contemplating it. I might, I might not. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. Yo. Yo. But, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about it. Like, it's a bunch of trainer battles. There's no need for me to really show them. I'm just going to really, sh all I really need to be shown is where they lead. So, yeah, I'm going to fight the trainer battles down this route off camera. And then I'm going to show you what's at the end of the route. So, I will see you all next time, YouTube. Peace, peace. And deuce, deuce. See ya.